Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Guy YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your first Android app in Android Studio. So let's start. First of all you can see that here is a simple video open where you will click on your Android Studio on the Bumblebee version and you have to click on new project. It will ask you to select an activity so you must have to select uh, MPT activity if you are creating your Android app first time because this activity is for absolute beginners select next here you have to type your application name like I'm going to type here fine gap first app at the second position you can see that package name you can also change your package name from here but uh, it's uh, one of the most important part uh, in your app because it's your identity on it will be your identity on Google Play Store and uh, you cannot install two application of same package name on the same Android device so make sure this package name is unique and uh, another Android app on the Play Store uh, don't have used this package package name otherwise you Google Play Store will ask you to change your package name uh, to upload your app on Android Studio this is the location where your project will be saved language android studio provide two languages by default java and kotlin but uh, nowadays uh, google also supporting kotlin language and uh, more and more developers are using kotlin so i recommend you to learn kotlin if you are going to learn android app development because uh, kotlin is modern programming language to make android apps okay here you can see that minimum SDK system development kit guys here you again have to become so careful API 20 here you have to select minimum SDK what does it means that uh, the device if you will select API 21 as a minimum SDK so the device uh, that will have 18 API 18 API 19 your app will not run on that uh, API so this is that uh, here from from this part you have to select so uh, anonymously because um, suppose if you select api uh, minimum sdk uh, 26 it means your app will not uh, run on this android 7.1 7.0 so i am going to select android api 21 and you can see that 98 percent of devices my app will run on 98 percent of devices because you can see that now a lot of modern and mobiles have comes and they have latest apis and they have latest android variants so 5.0 is uh, uh, it's so much old so i think it is good but it is excellent to select minimum sdk api 21 okay now you have to select finish button it will take few seconds according to your speed of your uh, pc you can see that android studio is creating new android app uh, i don't need a tip today <laughs> sorry uh, okay guys you can see that android studio have is creating new android studio project and uh, in today's video we will create our first android app uh, you can see that gradle uh, it it will take a few seconds according to speed of your system uh, you you know that uh, uh, th th there is more than 80 percent devices on the earth are android devices so uh, if you are going to learn android studio you are going to hit a big market okay guys you can see that our android studio project has been created successfully so this is your android studio and uh, first of all at the here you can see that project when i will click on this button my project structure will hide and when again i will click on this button my project structure will be shown make sure from this position you have select android it will help you to uh, it will your project structure will it will be easy for you to maintain your project mm -hmm. files guys first of all uh, you can see that when you will click on app folder here is a java folder and this is your package name com.example.findgap first app when you will click on this folder here you can see that main activity.kt file so you know that we were selected mpt activity when we were creating our android app so this is that activity that android studio have been created for us by default so activity is uh, like a simple page suppose 
if you learn in web development uh, if you have learned web development in php you create different type of files on your server like uh, signup.php or login.php index.php so here in android studio you create different type of activities suppose you want to create a login page you will create a login activity or you want to create sign up page you will create sign up activity so first of all let me show you how you can create new activity in android studio right click on the app this uh, app folder new and uh, here you can see that activity and again here you can see that mpd activity you have to simply select your activity uh, at this position you have to name your activity like i'm going to name this login activity so this it will be your front end file i will talk about this uh, in the few coming minutes and uh, you, uh, source language will be kotlin because we are going to use kotlin in this tutorial and I have already recommended you to learn Kotlin if you are going to become an Android developer and just simply you have to pr press finish button. Our backend file name will be loginactivity.kt and our frontend file name, we, uh, name would be activity underscore login. Press finish button. Okay. You can see that here is our second activity login activity have been created successfully. Okay guys. At, uh, at this position all your backend uh, all your Kotlin files will become at uh, this folder uh, make sure you create not these two uh, you don't have to touch these two folders just this folder is important for you where all our Kotlin files will be occurred click on resource okay guys here you can see that different folders drawable layout map map and values so what is drawable so guys in the drawable folder our all icons uh, suppose we want to use an image an icon in our android app we will be copy and paste that image or icon at this drawable folder so here is layout that is also most important folder in our android studio guys you can see that here is our main activity it's a backend file and activity underscore main dot xml it's our front end file these two files are linked through each other here you can see that uh, if i have opened main activity so our backend file is referring to activity underscore main file which is here so it means that main activities front end file name is activity underscore main so that's how these two files are connected with each other okay guys uh, mip map here our icons uh, suppose our ag, app icon we will be paste th those icons at this position so here you can see that this is our android app default icon that android studio gives us okay values okay again guys and the values you can see that here is color.xml this is also uh, uh, an important file all the colors that you will use in your android app you will define those colors and in this position suppose by default you can see that these colors are uh, inserted by android studio by default but suppose if you want to create another color you have to create a color uh, i'm going to name it suppose semi black and uh, again you can give value by yourself or also you can select the color from by clicking on this icon so guys you can see that uh, let me name it gray okay guys you can see that i have defined my color at uh, this file i will use this color in my app when we i will create my application and wherever i need this uh, uh, gray color i will just have to type this gray color and uh, this color code will be implemented at that position guys one of the most benefit uh, by defining your color in color.xml is suppose uh, you have used your color in lot of uh, places in your application and at some position you decided to change your color to change uh, to dark this gray color a little bit so the benefit of defining your color and this file is you don't need to change uh, this color at your all files suppose 80 files 90 files you just have to change this color at only single position and in your whole android app your color will be changed 
here is string.xml this is also an important uh, file all the strings that you will use in your android app you will be paste them here suppose uh, there is a uh, there is a title in my app which name is our packages so our packages and here we have to name our packages so guys android studio recommends us this this thing that uh, paste your all the strings at string.xml and then uh, so where i have to use the word our packages i simple have to refer this word suppose guys there is a, a big paragraph you have to all write all that paragraph at uh, this position and here you can only name uh, that paragraph name suppose para one so you just have to type para one uh, i will show you how uh, how you will use that so guys uh, okay guys here you can see that a uh, gradle uh, here are two important files suppose uh, this file is also important build out gradle files at the bottom position you can see that here here are our all the dependencies are the external libraries that you will use in your android app you will uh, Paste the, uh, that dependency at this position. You will learn a lot. Uh, 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 you will learn a lot about uh, build out Gradle these files uh, uh, in the future videos, inshallah. So, guys, this was our uh, project structure. One, you can see that here in the manifest file, Android manifest.xml. Guys, this is also our important uh, file, Android manifest.xml, and uh, uh, so because you are a beginner i think i don't need to explain about this file but uh, this is also one of the most important file uh, uh, in our project structure okay okay guys now we will create our simple android app so first let me close all the files so this was our project structure uh, now let me close all our files guys you have to click on the app res resource folder and click on layout folder open activity underscore main file and uh, you will see you can see that head is our uh, uh, palette and uh, this is our preview so guys now I'm going to drag a image view and drop this at this position select avatar for temporary so guys you can see that I have placed a simple image in my uh, Android app but I'm going to copy another image from my computer I'm going to use this image right click copy open your android studio right click on drawable and click on paste make sure you have selected drawable not the drawable hyphen v24 folder make sure to select the above folder press ok button and uh, here you can also change the name of your image uh, i'm going to select ok sign up banner i think it's a good name and click on this image and uh, search src sorry guys search background okay guys select this image click on this split button and you can see that head is our front end code of code of our file and in your image view tag you have to type background at the rate of drivable you can see that android studio is automatically suggesting me sign up banner just double click on it and you can see that this is our image uh, remove this uh, line so our previous image will be removed and uh, i'm going going to name it's uh, i'm going to give its width to uh, match parent and its height would be 300 dp or 200 dp 250 dp so guys you can see that uh, my image is placed properly but we are using constraint layout click on design so we have to constrain our image to top left and right simply you can also constrain by using using this technique or you can also uh, suppose i want to constrain my image to the right side you can also click on this plus button so you can see that my image is constrained horizontally and vertically as well and uh, you can see that here is our text view i'm going to remove its constraint and now constrain it to the bottom of your image and uh, remove bottom constraint 
again click on the split button this is the coding of our text view I'm going to give margin top 20 dp text size would be uh, 18 sp and text color is type at the rate of color guys when you will type at the rate of color all the colors in your color.xml android studio will uh, give you suggestion so you you already know we created a color uh, gray color so now we will learn how we'll use how we will use this color in our android app you just have to type at the rate of color forward slash and name of this color just, just select this so you can see that our text view is gray and this is hello world you can also uh, suppose I want to type a string here you can simply directly type that string here suppose uh, welcome to find gap or suppose I'm going to write here get bonus by sign up in the find gap Okay, you can guys directly write your text here or you can simply just uh, I'm going to cut this and open your string file string.xml and here I have to paste our string here and you can see that my string name is para1 again go to your activity underscore main and here I have to type at the rate of string slash para1 so you can see that my string is showing me so guys now let me run our app so I can show you uh, the output of our app here you can see that I have uh, already created my two Android virtual devices uh, if you don't have because if you are if you have installed your Android studio first time and you don't have a, your a virtual device you just have to click on device manager and uh, by clicking on this button you can create your uh, new uh, device let me minimize this one and by clicking on this button or by clicking shift plus f10 you can run your android app so i have selected this one guys it will take uh, a few a little bit time according to speed of your computer our app will be run automatically on our emulator okay guys you can see that our app have been run successfully uh, in my emulator I hope that you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section our team will be uh, try to answer your question and finally thanks for watching and at last please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos thank you